Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. Check out what we got. These are for sale if anybody's interested on the website. Uh, I haven't figured out the price on them yet. But before this video goes live, I'll get the price and it'll be on the screen as I show each one on what they are. Uh, there are more knives on the website as well, smaller ones. These are the first big ones I've bought. Uh, the shipping is the issue with this stuff, you know, because shipping costs a lot of money. It's a big expense and that's why I haven't done it because these are heavy, you know. Like some of these are close to a kilo. I'm sure my old knife over here is a kilo. <clears throat> but let's go through them. This is the most popular one around here. Everybody uses these. It's not my favorite. This is my knife. That thing's heavy. I use that every day. It's done a lot of work. Uh, for those who don't know, these knives, or majority of these uh, knives in Thailand are made in one village in uh, in Northwest Thailand. I'd love to get there to do a video actually, but uh, it's a long, long way from here. Uh, this steel is normally made from uh, leaf springs out of, out of cars, or trucks probably here, not many cars around here. But this is uh, the typical machete. I have one. This one's very similar to mine. It's almost as heavy. I don't know what this weighs, this one. There's one here that weighs 650 grams. It might be it. Very similar to mine. Same feel. Boy, it's very close, huh? A little bit. You have to remember these are handmade. So they're all a little bit different. Look how thick that is. There's some weight here. For me, this this is the one. This is the machete that you should buy. If you want a machete, this is it. Like I have another one I keep in my truck that's similar to this one, but longer, maybe six or eight inches longer. I don't like it. <laughs> this is my everyday knife. These are not razor sharp. You're not gonna shave with these but the steel quality is there if you want it to be that sharp uh, I haven't sharpened mine in about two years I'd say and uh, plenty sharp for what I need it for it's for chopping not for uh, shaving out of this selection I got here this is my favorite look at this guy huh look at that look at that wooden handle in there that is beautiful 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 I tell you what look at that knife that is a knife I don't know what I would use it for but I'm thinking I should have one <laughs> uh, I bought all these at a hardware store so I don't have uh, stockpiles but I can get more probably if you if you check if you want to buy one of these and it's sold out just uh, let me know and I'll try and get one and then if I you know if I know you're interested as soon as I have them I'll let you know these this is like a garden hole uh, we use the, the long ones like this they're about four or five feet long that's what the farmers use my wife don't go to the farm without one I've had one of these in my garden ever since I've had the garden it's great for planting and digging and uh, just very very useful little tool like I say there's been one in my garden from day one this guy could do a little damage with him beautiful knife not too heavy it's got a hole in the handle this is designed to go on the end of a bamboo pole so you can chop tree branches off that's what it's for cutting tree branches in the top of trees this one is similar to this guy. It just got the, the square end on it. It's kind of scooped for some reason. The end is not sharpened. I don't I don't know why. It's not square, that's very sharp, that point there. Again, same handle. It's just not stained. 
a nicely made knife. All of these are made with the same steel. This guy. I've seen a few people have these. Again, for chopping tree branches off, that's what they're designed for. Or that's what they're used for. I don't know what <laughs> what their design their idea is when they were made. Let's look at that, huh? Anybody who's followed this channel for a while or followed me for a while, you know, these are made in two pieces normally. You can't even see, yeah, I guess you can see a weld there. There's a lot of grinding there. But the ando is put on after. And it's cool how the ando is made. It's just steel wrapped around and then pounded together. Sometimes you see them welded. This one is welded. Uh, normally, they're not always welded. Some of them are. This one doesn't look like it's welded, huh? From my knife. I repaired one of these, like this one. That was over 30 years old. And he broke it off right here. And I welded it back together. It never ever came back, so it must still be going. Uh, I think that's it. Like I say, there are more smaller knives and rice cutting knives and stuff like that on the site already. I'm held off on these because, well, they're expensive. They're going to be expensive because of the weight. Which one is? I'd say this is, yeah, this is the heaviest one for sure. For sure. There's some weight behind that. But like I say, that's my favorite knife. That's for sure. And for coolness, that one. <laughs> as long as your arm. And really, really cool. Alright guys, that's it. If you're interested, link is in the description to the store page. Like I say, I don't have a lot of uh, a lot of selection or a lot of stock, but I can probably get more of these if they sell. This one, this is a nice knife too. But to compare the two, that's the one for me. That's m in my opinion. All right, guys. So that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Now I get to figure out what they're worth and how to ship them. I guess I'll be making boxes. <laughs> Look at that old one. That thing will outlive me. You can see how thick it is through here too. Huh? It's the same. It's the same knife. Like I said, they're all handmade so no, no two are exactly the same but it's the same idea that's for sure the handle is a little different the new one is about two inches longer but they're a nice balance I, I really like these for everyday use I cut a tree down yesterday I don't own an axe or the good axe I use my knife and turn that tree into firewood pretty quick this is a good knife. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching. <laughs>